Andrew McGahan for Severe MMA here at West Coast Fighting Championships 5 in the right venue, standing alongside the new light heavyweight champion Kyle McClurkin with a very impressive rear naked choke in the second round. Did I get all that right? Yeah, second round. Okay, I got your name wrong the last time as well, so I'm sorry about that. <laughs> um, talk to me about this fight. First round, it seemed like you were just controlling the pace on the feet. Second round, almost exactly what you'd want from an amateur fight. First round, we get to see the stand-up. Second round, we get to see the ground. Uh, yeah, I just thought... The game plan was if he, uh, watching his last few fights, if he just charged at me, I was going to shoot. And then if he sort of stood in the back, in the back foot, I would kind of pick my shots. And uh, he went in the back foot the first round, was just picking big shots, caught me a couple too. And in the second round, I think, I'm presuming his coach told him just go forward, because he just started rushing forward. Um, got into the clinch, took him down the mountain, and just a couple of shots. And then I saw, uh, I just saw his head go limp a wee bit, and I thought the ref was going to stop it. Then he turned to me and just got the choke. You took the man position in the second, a little bit of time spent on his back. Was it the sort of thing that you didn't want to let go of the mount? You just wanted to finish from there, don't make any silly mistakes? Um, like five minutes before the fight, that's exactly what me and my coach was drilling. Just from mount keeping control, because in my last fight, I did the exact same thing. I mean, I punched myself out. So this time we just practiced. If I get a, when I was on mount, just stay calm. And I felt like I was in the change room when I was actually in the fight, I was so calm. And then just picked my big shots, and then he turned around and gave me his back and got the choke. But uh, just take my time more, to be honest. But in my last fight, I punched myself out, and that's what I did. Do you think that's a perfect example of how amateur MMA should be done? You made a mistake in the last fight, yeah. worked on it in this camp, and now same position in, the next, in this fight, but you didn't make the same mistake as before. Yeah, I just, see, to be honest, from the last fight, uh, it seemed like a gas. But um, to be honest, I was doing conditioning flat out from the last fight. I just, I didn't use my energy weight. I just, uh, so after my, after my last fight, when I got... Or I didn't use my energy enough, I just, uh, more sparring, more fight specific stuff. And then I was sparring two or three times a week and uh, actually less conditioned, but I felt fitter in that fight because I was just more comfortable uh, in the fight because of more sparring stuff. Okay. And then just a couple of final things. You are one of the first group of guys to compete under the new amateur rule set for the sport of mixed martial arts uh, in the Republic anyway. How did you find it? Is the rash guards bad or the shin pads bad? I know a lot of people were anxious about it, but to me, the fights have been running very smoothly here tonight. No, the show, etc. and everything else is running amazing. It just, uh, the only thing that was a melt was the bloods and stuff, getting all that done. I didn't get mine done until yesterday. But uh, apart from the bloods, I think, yeah, see, to be honest, I think the shin guards and rash guards are really appropriate. Like, for guys only starting off, you get guys when you've been training two months and they're doing 10 kilo weight cuts, 12 week fight camps. Uh, I, so yeah, I think it's very good stuff. Like. Excellent. For those that are wondering why we're both looking down there, Chris Fields is after scaling the ring there to climb in yes. and congratulate his fighter. He's going absolutely nuts. For you though, you're, you have no problem competing in this rule set. You'll fight north, you'll fight yeah, south, you'll I, fight anywhere. Yeah, I like it. Um, I, I like it. I think it's, uh, I think it's good. The only th thing that's a melt is the bloods getting all that done. But apart from that, it's all good, yeah. Lovely. Congratulations, Congratulations Kyle. See you soon. Thanks very much.